Well, like I said, growing up um, down in our neighborhood, we were a village. We, we played together, worked together. Uh, anyone could discipline you if they needed to. And the only thing they had to say, you better stop that, I'm gonna tell your, your parents. Or if they had to, they'd give you a swat if needed to be, you know. And like I said, uh, we had a good neighborhood. Everybody had either a fruit tree or a garden in, in that area. Uh, most families was anywhere from four to maybe eight children in, in our family. And uh, we had a lot of beautiful cooks there. And um, like I said, we just helped each other and, and it was a nice place to grow up. Well, like I said, we had uh, old time neighborhood. We, we my brother, uh, they made a swing out of a old tar, and, you know, and everything like that. And, um, you know, like I said, we just played and, and just had a, you know, good time. I remember the Matter Man bread used to come in our neighborhood. and. Uh, that was a treat because my mom was such a good cook, but every once in a while we would, would buy some, something off the Men and Men truck or the ice cream truck. Um, and then we also had, um, I remember even Polly's Pop coming in our neighborhood, but uh, nobody could really afford that but Uncle Oscar and, and, and Iversa. Uh, it was a sad day, you know, when we had to move out, simply like they said, because once Truman Library was built and we lived right in the sandwich of the library our neighborhood and not too far from um, Bess Truman's home. So we was forced, like I said, forced to move. And um, and like I said, I think they all thought we was gonna move to Kansas City, but we are natives of Independence. Our, my family, we've been here since 1821. And um, so we wanted to stay. My mom and dad, they found a place, a couple places they wanted to live in. And when they went there, you know, they wouldn't sell because after they seen the color of our skin. It wasn't until my dad put an article in the uh, Independence Examiner and the Kansas City Star, um, and he said it's a, it's a sad thing that um, my son is over there fighting in Vietnam War and no one over here in the United States would sell us a house. Shortly after that, my mom and dad did find a, a place that, um, that they both liked. So they went in on their own and talked to the people and they said, sure, we'll sell to you because we're building the house right next door. So we'll sell, sell this house to you. It, you know, it's kind of funny because really it was like three, three doors up from the house that they didn't want to sell to us uh, because of a color of our skin. 